Guys, <clears throat> right, I have my ULN2803 installed and I've installed it according to the diagram on the forum. Uh, been advised to obviously run a 12 volt wire, which you can see on the left hand side, and it runs to the bottom of the main supply, which is there, as you can see, that's 12 volts. I have an LED connected now to do the tests on the low current outputs, uh, which I'll get into in a second. But ULN2803 installed, uh, pin 8 cutoff, um, pin 10 connected to 12, 12 volts, and the outputs uh, connected to the pins that go to, uh, to the uh, development board 47, 40. Uh, 43, 47, I think it's a 49, etc, etc. Anyway, they're connected up accordingly. And uh, I've got my RG system running. And let me show you something that's very, very weird. Um, that's going to probably cause, well, it is causing a lot of problems. I've got Tuna Studio running. And uh, as you can see, I've got my thermofan settings set to board default. That's the pin and 80 degrees with a 3 degrees hysteresis and then I've got fuel pump also set to board default okay and what I'm going to do now is according to the diagram fuel pump is supposed to be pin 14 which is the ground pin of 14 which will go to your relay and the thermofan is pin 15 okay there's two more mistakes let me show you how I tested this. Okay, first of all, pin number 13 is a 5 volt supply. That's positive 5 volts. So this green wire here is connected to the blue one is on 10. So that will give you a reference. 11, 12, 13 is my positive going to the LED. The other side of the LED is connected to pin 16 at the moment. Okay, so if you reference the blue wire, which is 10, 11, 12, 13 is the green, 14, 15, 16 is my yellow. Going over to the LED, it's on at the moment. I have the Arduistum connected into the USB, as well as the Speedwino connected into the USB. Right. Now, pin 16, yes, according to the diagram, it says it's a low current output. However, this is currently connected to the fuel pump. So, if I unplug the Arduistum, fuel pump switches off and if you look at the LEDs I don't have any injection I'm going to plug it back in again there's my injection at the moment and you'll see we are idling at 850 rpm okay and fuel pump is back on now you cannot test the fuel pump whilst you have the speed we know or the Arduino connected to the speed we know plugged into a USB port so this is where I think a lot of the the problems are coming in if I go into my cranking settings have a look at my pump duration the pump duration is set for six seconds okay of a fuel pump prime duration so what that means is when you turn the ignition on your car to on without starting without cranking your pump should prime for six seconds in other words the fuel pump should switch on for six seconds now watch this both the boards are just at the top and the speed we know are plugged into the USB obviously you can see Junior Studio running and I've got 850 RPM fuel pump is on I'm gonna go to the power supply switch it off my fuel pump stays on okay that's odd let me unplug the RG system and it switches the fuel pump off okay that's fine let's leave the RG let's leave the uh, um, the USB connected and I'm gonna switch on the power supply again this LED should come on for six seconds which it doesn't okay now watch what I'm gonna do I'm now going to unplug you'll see it'll go offline hard use them so you're not the hard use them the speed we know this cable here goes to the speed we know right I don't have a cranking signal fuel pump off I'm gonna switch off the power supply again you'll see it's off as soon as I switch it on again, you should see you should see voltage come to the fuel pump. There we go. Four, three, 
two, one, and off. There's your six second prime. Now, if I go and simulate any form of cranking signal, I plug in the RG stem back in, then you can see the LEDs are going, fuel pump switches back on again. Unplug it, it switches off. You cannot test it with your USB connected. Okay, so there's a comms related problem there. If one of the clever guys can sort that out in the code, please. Also, if you could rewire, should I say, relabel the uh, wiring diagram so that the fuel pump is on pin 16. Yes, I am using the standard January version B firmware. Here's my utils.ino in case number three. Fuel pump you'll see 45 and pin fan 47. That is standard. I haven't changed any of that. So if somebody could please address that. Uh, next video I will show you the thermofan working correctly.